Hello. <laughs> okay, so so I've had a bit of a break. Uh, unintentionally, the lawn is feral. <laughs> it's so bad. There are mushrooms. So much ryegrass came back. So I might have to do a sneaky spray on that. Um, it's heaps long. It just needs, it needs some love. I don't think I've actually mowed it now for nearly a month. Um, Cause obviously the videos are a little bit behind and then I was away and I was literally stuck down in town. I couldn't get back here. So yeah, general clean up today, quick mow, edge. A lot of the ryegrass came back. When you do the top dressing, you spread the sand down and it goes out into the concrete bits and the edges get filled in with sand. So the grass grows really well and thick in there. So I'll have to get the whipper snipper out and just spend a bit of time redoing my edges. Um, but yeah, get it going. Right, wait. Yeah, we'll get it going. Alrighty, nice straight edges. But the sun's out now, you can see the see the ryegrass. See through here where it's a bit darker? Anywhere it's darker there, there, little patch there, and then there's light in there, like lighter areas just through here. That's the cooch. So there's a lot of ryegrass. Heaps more here, dark through here, dark along the edge. Lots of ryegrass in there, so. So yeah, heaps of ryegrass. It's all good though. I'm trying to get my hands on some Destiny, I think it's called. So I can spray it out and really get rid of it. But yeah, still a bit of sand around. We'll give it a mow with the rotary mower. And uh, think maybe you'll get the cylinder out and see what happens. Alrighty, finished the mow, got um, a big wheelbarrow plus this off of it, which is about five or six catches. Um, 
don't know how else is going to show up, but can you see why you wouldn't want to run your cylinder through this straight away? Um, there's a lot of sand in there. So it's going to dull your blade. Um, it's alright if you plan on sharpening it or um, you know, giving it, giving it a bit of love uh, immediately after a reno. But yeah, I don't, I have to travel a bit to get mine sharpened and where I can get it done semi-locally, like within an hour, it's pretty expensive. So I'll keep the uh, Scotty off of this for a little bit. Alrighty, so that's the mow. Still got a few patches that are filling in. Uh, I don't know, don't know how well they show up. My fairy ring is in full swing. I actually um, cored out with my plugger heaps of the soil um, and then filled it back in with sand because I, I think the fungus grows in the soil so I figured if I can take some of the soil out I might be able to get rid of some of the um, might be able to get rid of some of the fungus and just uh, help get rid of it faster but check this out this is looking so good down here man beautiful very happy with that So yeah, that's recovered pretty well. Um, like I said, I wasn't here to give it any love, but the fertilizer and soil wetter and seaweed was pumping through the easy flow the whole time I was away. Plus I, plus with the irrigation, I can control it and the cameras, I can sort of see what's going on. So I was keeping an eye on it, but I couldn't actually get here and do stuff. So because there's so much ryegrass in here still, when I spray it, um, I think I'm gonna end up with a lot of brown and yellow looking areas but that's where I'm thinking the little groomer that I've got will come in handy because I'll be able to just pick away at the surface as I'm bringing it lower and lower with the cylinder mower that whole back area down past the clothesline will just be mowed with the my uh, massport rotary. tree so that's gonna look heaps nice down there it's gonna be a lot less fussy and uh, probably enjoy it a lot more to be honest <laughs> so yeah Thanks for, um, thanks for tuning in. Sorry there was such a big delay between the videos, but that's just how it is sometimes. And yeah, get out there, get stuck into it, have some fun. Yeah, what's going on here? A couple of little, uh, couple of little different types of grass. is going on